Hello and welcome to the SAS Companion for lecture number six, dealing with contrasts in the two-way analysis of variance. So let's go ahead and start SAS. Okay, first step is to bring in the data. I'm going to copy and paste from what we had last time, simply because I typing is going to take a lot of work. And then just let's double check that we got this typed in there correctly by running a proc univariate. Let's see what we get. There we go, the DFW rate. This all looks familiar to us. Okay, we're good to go. So now we're going to do the analysis of variance part. Course prof is the class model DFW rate. Now, one thing I'm adding is on the model statement is slash e, and what that slash e oh, the slash indicates there's options afterwards. And what the e option does is it tells us the order of the um, courses, professor, and interactions inside SAS's computer brain. And we're going to need that if we're going to do contrasts. So here we're run, we're, we will run this. And then we'll scroll back to what would be page two. And this tells us the order of all of the contrasts. I'm sorry, order of all of the uh, courses, professors, and the interactions. Notice that in the interactions, the course comes first and then the professor in alphabetical order. Here's the ANOVA stuff. There's our interaction plot. We saw all this in the last video. So let's go ahead and compare or contrast um, Forsberg's average versus Cheney's average. So contrast, let's go ahead and call it Forsberg versus Cheney. Um, this is going to be part of the prof, since we're only dealing with profs, PROF. And then let's go back to our output to see the order. We're only looking at the profs, and we're looking at Forsberg and Cheney. So Cheney and Forsberg, and then two that we don't care about. I'm actually going to make this window a little bit smaller in case I don't remember the order. Okay, F Cheney is the first. Um, one, Forsberg next, then Michelson and Winchester. Boom. Let's run this. And we have our contrast popping up. Popping up. Contrast sums of the squares mean sums of squares, which is just the contrast sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. There's your f value, there's the p value. So we've detected a difference, a significant difference, statistically significant difference, between the average Forsberg drop DFW rate and the Cheney DFW rate. But what is that difference? It's a difference, but who's higher, Forsberg or Cheney? And we can't tell that from just this contrast statement. But if we change it to an estimate and rerun that, here's what we get. We get Forsberg versus Cheney. It's positive. Standard error, t value, which is the square root of the f value. And the p-values are going to be the same. So Forsberg versus Cheney is positive. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean that Forsberg is higher or that Cheney is higher? Let's go back to our editor. And the way that we got it, Cheney, remember Cheney's came first. So this is going to be Cheney minus Forsberg. Cheney minus Forsberg is positive, which means that Cheney is higher. So Cheney has a DFW rate that's higher than Forsberg. Now at this point, you're tempted to say, okay, that, that difference is 7.1%. And you would be right. So Cheney has a higher DFW rate than Forsberg by 7.16% on average. 
But that 7.16 is not what we got when we did this by hand. Because remember what we did. I got rid of all the fractions. I multiplied through by 3. So the L hat that I estimated on the board is going to be 3 times this. How can we get that? Well, remember the divisor. We can actually put fractions in there, too. So to get the estimate that uh, we got on the board, 21.5, because I multiplied through by th 3 on the board. Now realize that the correct difference is the one without the divisor. And we could tell that if we wanted to by doing a proc univariate data is equal to dfw class is prof. Now we have the DFW rates by professor. We were comparing Forsberg and Cheney. Here's the Cheney's, 29 for him. Forsberg, 21.83. So that difference of 20 is 7.16, which is what we calculated here. Let's also do comparing the average DFW rate for STAT 2013 versus STAT 2053. So again, we'll do a contrast. And this is done by course. And if we go back to the design, course is I want 2013 versus 2053, so that'll be a 1, a 0, and a negative 1. That's what I want. If I want to estimate that difference instead of just determine if it's significant. There we go. Estimate the difference in DFW rates between stat 2013 and 2053 is just one percentage point difference, not statistically significant. So we did not detect a s difference in DFW rate between STAT 2013 and 2053. So the average for 2013 versus the average for 2053, we did not detect a difference. And that's really it. There's not much else here. The hard, hardest part about doing this is getting your numbers correct and trying to actually get some, um, some contrasts that are estimable. Not all combinations of ones, zeros, negative ones, not all combinations that can go here are estimable. And SAS will be really nice in telling you, hey, we can't estimate that which means either it can't be done mathematically or that SAS wants you to do it in a different way. For instance, another way of doing Forsberg versus Cheney, well, let's look at this, contrast, FVC, okay. We can do it in terms of course times prof if we wanted to. Now we gotta go back up here and look at the ordering. That would be taking care of all of these. Yeah, too far. Going the other way. Okay, so course versus prof, that takes these 12. And we want Cheney versus Forsberg. So it'd be a one for Cheney, a negative one for the next, because that's Forsberg, two zeros. Then we start over. 1, negative 1, 0, 0. 1, negative 1, 0, 0. Now it looks like that should work. Let's try it and see what SAS says. 
Oops, there's no FVC here. Hmm. Let's go to log and see what happened. Contrast FVC is not estimable. Now, you and I both know that this is estimable, or at least in theory it is. So it's not a matter of mathematically it doesn't make sense. Here it's a matter of SAS wants you to do it in a different way, in a simpler way. And th in that case, it, this is the way of doing it more simply. So again, contrasts are very frustrating when you get beyond that one-way analysis variance, because no matter what statistical program you're going to use, you have to get the contrast in some sort of way that is understood by that program. And I'll be honest with you, that's, this takes the longest for me to do, is to get those contrasts in a way that SAS wants them. So hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself.